like to share a little bit about one of the newer features that we rolled out in Holista Plan in December of 2021, which has to do with incentive stock options and alternative minimum tax. For folks who are used to working with incentive stock options, you know that the exercise of an ISO isn't something that's going to be subject to traditional tax, but the bargain element, so the difference between the market price and the strike price multiplied by the number of shares that you're purchasing with the option, is a preference item for alternative minimum tax, meaning you've got to put that amount into the AMT calculation to determine if there might be any AMT generated through the exercise of that option. Now, we've been able to support entering the preference item for AMT exercises for a long time, but one of the things that we recently rolled out based on some user feedback was, I'd love to know how much I could realize in ISOs before I trigger AMT. So what you see here in this um, editable scenario is uh, relatively basic, you know, some interest, uh, some uh, wages, some interest, and so on. That part's not necessarily as important, but what is going to be important is this new gear icon in the 2i incentive stock options row. I've already expanded the alternative minimum tax section. If I click on this gear icon, Holistic Plan will now calculate how much I could have in this field. So basically how much money I could have because of incentive stock options in this preference item before I trigger the alternative minimum tax. So in this case, it says 59,085. So if I type in 59,000, I'll see hmm, no AMT. But if I type in 59,086, I now have $1 of alternative minimum tax. So you can do that with the gear option. You can also do that now with a relatively new feature within the range calc screen. So if I go to range calc, I'll see starting with what no, folks have been used to seeing. So the tables for, or the charts for ordinary income, capital gains, but now you've got an opportunity and type of income for a dropdown box to select incentive stock options in beta. And what you'll see is how much money, just like we saw on that solve for max with the gear icon, how much could I do in ISOs before I trigger AMT? So that's one new feature. The second new feature is we can now, within scenario analysis, support any credit paid for prior year AMT. So again, for folks who are familiar with AMT, if you generate alternative minimum tax in one year, you do have a credit that you can apply in future years when your standard tax calculation exceeds your alternative minimum tax. It basically works to equalize the two. So if you pay AMT one year, you now have a credit where you can bring down the standard tax in a future year if the standard tax exceeds AMT. That basically works like a non-refundable credit. So if you scroll down to the non-refundable tax credits, you'll now see a row that says available credit for prior year AMT. I'm gonna bring in a scenario that I've already created from the scenario bank where we've got a $25,000 prior year AMT credit. You should see this in any of your clients' tax returns in a year when they've um, generated AMT. And I've entered the $25,000 full credit but we've also already automatically applied the amount of the credit that you're able to use. You can't use uh, any more of the credit than would bring the standard tax to the level of AMT, right? That's why it's non-refundable. And that's also why in this case, this person can't use the full $25,000 credit. They can only use $13,000 because that's the difference between the standard tax and the alternative minimum tax or the tentative minimum tax that's generated. Um, you can also use this feature in a couple of different ways. So here now, if we go to solve for max or at range calc, and we go back to that incentive stock option side, or even um, in the ordinary income side, we see that this green right here, that is reflective of that prior year credit. Now, why are you seeing this here in range calc? Well, as you increase the level of your standard tax, right? You're still able to use this credit to bring the standard tax down below to where it equals the alternative minimum tax. And you still see that going on through here, right? It's still working to equalize those two, but it'll also work on the incentive stock options. I should say there's an implication on the incentive stock option side because here, if you're just looking at exercising additional incentive stock options, Doing so won't change your standard tax, but it will change the calculation for the tentative minimum tax. And even if you're not paying alternative minimum tax, the fact that you're decreasing the spread between the standard tax 
and the alternative minimum tax basically means you're making that credit worth less, right? As you're bringing your tentative minimum tax on the AMT side up, you're narrowing the difference between that tentative minimum tax and the alternative minimum tax. So you're eating away at that credit. Um, now you can also use within uh, scenario analysis itself, if we've got this credit entered, which we do, um, let me find back the AMT side, you'll be able to see if we click solve for max here, it'll tell you, yes, we 59,000 before we j AMT, also told here that you're already in the credit phase out. So if you weren't in the credit phase out um, with incentive stock options, this would also tell you, here's how many incentive stock options you could go before you start phasing out the alternative minimum tax credit. So two new features related to ISOs. We hope you find them helpful and enjoyable, particularly those of you who have to work with a lot of clients who have these incentive stock options. As always, if you have any questions or need anything, please contact us at contact support or at support at holisticplan.com.